My name is Jeannie Seabrook. I'm from Gloucester Cannery. We are a local licensed cannery and we decided that we would work with farmers to save the produce that is between market or, um, or after market. It's good produce but is being thrown into the compost. So what this pot will do for us is when we're making tomatoes and um, applesauce and other um, types of sauce items, it increases our production fourfold from what we are doing right now um, in the same amount of time. So it makes it realistic to work with farmers and keep their stuff, um, their fresh stuff safe and get it into a value-added situation. And then we give them back a portion and we keep a portion. So they have then a value-added product to sell on market and we have a value-added product that's out there with our label and their label that tells the consumer that it's local. The farmers are uh, being able to use more of their product, um, which makes the sustainability issue in terms of eating all year round in from Ohio products, it makes it more realistic. Um, we can do this program as long as they have produce. And so, you know, to be able to take peaches and put them into jars and say, okay, now you're still eating Ohio peaches. To make a tomato sauce and have the corner pizza so shop using that tomato sauce says now you know fresh local and it's our economy okay okay well i'm richard jensen i'm a former professor from ohio state university who retired to go into organic farming uh, now 17 years ago and uh, I've grown organically since. I was certified for eight years and currently I'm not certified anymore, but I still grow things the same way organically and try to be as sustainable as I can in everything I do. Well, this year I planted a garden that uh, has way more cucumbers than I planted, than I planned to plant. The um, reason for that is I always have students from Denison University come and help start the plants in the greenhouse uh, because it's part of their environmental studies program. And I was absent for a while and they planted way more in the greenhouse than I planned. And, but we kept them growing and we went ahead and planted them in the garden as usual. And this year they all grew and we had way more cucumbers than we could handle for our normal market. And prior to the season, Jeannie had uh, indicated an interest in sharing the, uh, the product through making pickles out of them and other sorts of things that she can do through food preservation. Um, and I gave her a call when I had all those extra pickles, all those extra cucumbers. And uh, she said, sure, bring them over. So this is a couple weeks ago now, I brought over uh, probably about 300 pounds and then another 300 later. And she made them into pickles and uh, I've been selling them um, at the farm market for the last week. And I'm just amazed at the response of the customers. They, uh, they seem to love the p pickles. They seem to love the, the different varieties of products that she's got there, including relish and bread and butter pickles and dill pickles and sweet dill, dill pickles and uh, slices for sandwiches. And it's just uh, been a great product uh, and uh, have enjoyed the success of being able to sell it.